and welcome back to starting out in CNC. The all new part four will be out next week at the usual schedule for part three that's coming up next. So another day, uh, here we are, I've got my replacement uh, little Acme nut blocks, thank you very much for using Nest for those. And they attach to the threaded bar at the back here, the Acme bar. Uh, uh, the Acme bar threads through those and the, the blocks are attached to the X carriage uh, back plate. Um, I've disconnected the little locking rings at either end on the threaded bar. I've disconnected the uh, stepper motor flexi coupling, so that's not connected at all. I've loosened off the screws in these side plates here by a single turn. So this is actually, this carriage is free moving now, but I need to get these off. And inside here, uh, the blocks are held off the back plate by a little spacer and a shim. And I really don't want to lose those down in the inside here. So I've fallen back on an old trick I had from my photographic days. I've got a, a length of masking tape, just ordinary masking tape, just rolled back on itself so you make a sort of a, a sticky stick from it. I'm going to keep that in there and hopefully if those shims do fall out, as I'm sure they certainly will, uh, we'll catch them quite easily uh, on the tape. But that's what I've got to do next. Uh, once those are undone, I'm hoping I'll be able to sort of feed it out enough, move the carriage across and get everything out. But uh, fingers crossed, let's give it a shot. Obviously, I've just realised they've got to unscrew evenly, otherwise they're not going to come off. So I've got two of these little sticky sticks. Hopefully, they'll do the job. They must at the same time. I might do. So not too bad, all things considered. My little sticky sticks caught most of the shims. And a couple of the nuts that were supposed to be captive came away. seem that stiff to be honest now but certainly not you know you can't flick them and have them spin that's for sure so let's see what the new ones are like oh yeah it's getting a little bit firm towards the end so old ones on the manual Okay, so these new blocks are just so much easier and they just wind in and you can literally just spin them along the, the thread like that. There's no way the other ones would do that. So, okay. Glad we've got that sorted. So I'm going to fit these 
uh, just according to the manual really, put the blocks on the plate then thread the bar through uh, uh, and everything as it should be and all the shims and packers and everything in the right place. So, first job. Uh, blocks and shims and spacers. So not a huge amount of space to see what's going on here and my hands are almost certainly going to be in the way. Basically we've got to get uh, the, nut, the bolt through there, then a spacer and a shim and then the nut block over two bolts. So it's going to be a bit of a fiddle. We'll do what we can. Let's try to avoid doing that. So that would have been less of a fiddle if I hadn't been trying to keep my fingers out of the way of the lens. Uh, so I've got the, the little nut blocks in, uh, we've left them loose as you are intended to in the manual, then you thread the bar through, then we tighten them up once we've got them seated. So that's what I'll do, I've taken the uh, locking collars and the shim and the bearings out, I can just feed this through. Carefully. That is so, so, so much easier than it was before. And of course I'm going to have to take the stepper motor off this end because I've got to get the bar all the way through to get the bearing and the locking collar on this one. You were probably already ahead of me on that one. Uh, yes, I just forgot about that. Um, because you, you get this bar so it actually touches the shaft, so I'll have to just pull that out of the way quickly and then we can carry on and get everything threaded through. Okay, so that's all done. That's running very, very smoothly now. Probably the smoothest one on the whole machine now. Um, so I can get back to what I was doing before. Uh, finished putting the support rails in for the spoiler board. 
uh, and then we see where we get to. Um, yeah, uh, it took about half an hour and I didn't have to dismantle too much. I had forgotten about the, the stepper motor because you need to get the bar in far enough to get the, uh, the bearing and the locking, locking collars on. Uh, but yeah, not, not too bad, all things considered. So, onward. So there we are, about an hour later. Uh, that is the mechanical side of the Usenest Workbee CNC machine complete. Uh, I've got the spoiler board supports in, uh, the replacement nut blocks are doing a lovely job. Probably the nicest ones on the whole machine, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, uh, next step, I think, is the electrics, but then we need to get into the uh, PDF manuals for that. So that will be in the next video. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.